E o Hiperconectado está de volta. Hoje a gente está entendendo por que, que nós temos calos nos pés. Eles são mesmo um problema ou o problema é a nossa mudança? Esse vai ser o ponto de partida para uma discussão ainda maior que a história e as mudanças do corpo humano ao longo do tempo por causa das mudanças da nossa cultura. Então, para isso, a gente vai seguir com a entrevista do Daniel Lieberman, que é integrante do Departamento de Biologia Evolutiva de Harvard. So, would you say that our modern comforts, like shoes, the way we walk, the distances we walk nowadays, or how much we drive and do everything, uh, make more of a difference in the use of our feet? Most of us wear shoes, I'm wearing shoes right now, because they're comfortable, right? And, and we have this general sense that if it's comfortable, it must be good for us. But, but there are lots of things that are comfortable that, that aren't good for us. For example, you know, it's more comfortable. I mean, I, when I came into my building today, I could have taken the, the elevator or taken the stairs. The elevator is much more comfortable than the stairs, but, but clearly taking the stairs is better for me, right? Uh, and that's because it forces my body to, to do some work, right? It causes me and my muscles to work, and I use... I use sugar and fat and my metabolism has to work and, and I, you know, turn on all kinds of genes when I climb the stairs that I don't use when I climb the elevator. And the same is true of shoes, right? Just because a shoe, something is comfortable doesn't mean it's necessarily good for us, right? But it doesn't mean shoes are all bad. It's just that there are some trade-offs. And I think the biggest trade-off with shoes is that comfort to it for versus, versus work, right? So shoes, you know, shoes protect our feet from the ground. They, you know, they're, you know, I, it's very cold here in New England right now. It's, It's probably what about you know zero degrees right now as I walked in. Um, if I had been barefoot, I'd be very very cold, right? But um, but on the other hand, the shoe also prevents my muscles from having to do work in my foot, and it means that people who wear shoes often have very weak feet, and I think that's the big problem. So people who have weak feet are much more likely to get flat feet and other and other and other problems. The other thing is that when people run sometimes in shoes, they run in a kind of a, a way that you wouldn't run when you're barefoot. And if you do a lot of running and you do it really hard, that can sometimes cause injury. So, so you know, it's not like shoes are bad or chairs are good or bad or elevators are good or bad. It's that there are trade-offs. And, and, we, and we shouldn't just assume that something that's comfortable is necessarily good for us. What happens with our feet that is weird when we use shoes that is common and, and necessary when we are bare feet? Right. Well, so calluses are normal, right? People who don't have much calluses on their feet, they're weird, right? Um, for, You know, you know, for, for millions of years, everybody was barefoot. And when you're barefoot, you develop nice calluses on your feet and they protect you. Um, and, um, and now people, when they get calluses on their feet, they go and have a podiatrist get rid of them, right? Partly because the callus doesn't work well with the shoe because the shoe is rubbing on the foot and causing a little, you know, pain. But, but it's actually very strange not to have calluses. And um, calluses protect you. They keep your feet from getting cold. They protect you from getting injured from sharp things on the ground. And, and when, when we just published a paper in Nature actually showing that calluses, unlike shoes, there's no, you don't lose sensory information. So if you have a nice thick callus when you're walking or running, it protects your foot, but you still feel the ground. It's like you have the best of both worlds. Um, so it's just an example of how, how we've taken something quite normal and, and now in our modern world, think of them as abnormal. 